Hey, just a quick shout out to the guy on Twitch with the jumbled up characters that says first first time watching your stream and you just go off. I do not care about you, bro, and I don't give a fuck if you watch or not. So take your attitude and go somewhere else, young man. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, don't defend me, bro. Don't defend me. What one is it? Is it this one? No, it's this one. Yeah, thanks, Omega. Thanks, brother. Don't defend me, though, dude. I don't want little losers like that watching my channel, bro. I don't... Uh, dude, I, I think I slipped and unfollowed, bro. I don't give a fuck. I do not care, you little loser. Go and do something else with your life, young man. I do not give a flying fuck if you follow the channel or not, bro. I don't need little geeks like you, dude. I do not need little attention-hungry geeks like you, my friend. So go and watch someone else, bro. I'm sure they'll be very happy to have you watching their stream. What's up, Mike? Good to see you, big dog. Uh, Omega says, but I like your stream, sir. Yeah, it's okay, bro, but you don't need to defend me against angry little nerds that are desperate for my attention and... Uh, for some reason seem to think that I should, do you know what I mean? I, I, because they're on my stream, I should be doing something. <laughs> uh, never mind, never mind. All right, right, let's get started. We're doing the Yorkshire Air Ambulance today, guys. Yeah, just bear with. So I'm going to avoid London just because London's a total nightmare, an absolute total nightmare with all these new people. All these new kids that have no idea what they're doing. So we're going to be operating up in the north of England for a little while. We're going to be doing some Helimed 99. Some Helimed 99, guys. Looking forward to it. So we're probably going to fly over to Manchester and do some bits and bobs over there. Um, we will be going over to the east of England as well. We might even fly up to Cumbria. We might even go to Cumbria, guys, and get a bit of a... Um, because there's quite a lot of hospitals up there. There's not a lot of um, landing pads for us to use in the west, the northwest of England, so we really have to go pretty close up to the border to find anything useful that we can use. So we have quite a few. There is the, just north of Lancaster, so up where Cumbria is, so we have the um, the Cumberland Infirmary. We also have, on the other side of the country, we have the Newcastle Royal Victoria Infirmary. Um, up at Durham, Durham Way, uh, sorry, down at Middlesbrough, actually, we have the James Cook Hospital. And what else have we got? Hmm, I think these are all just. We have the obviously we've got Leeds General Infirmary. We have LGI. Apparently there's a new model for that. What's up, F99 Slider? Good to see you, Buster. Welcome on board, sir. Apparently there's a new LGI available. Like, there's new scenery for it. So I need to. I've not downloaded it yet, but I'll get, I'll get that at some point. But um, we're mainly going to be operating in this area of um, England, guys. We're not going to be heading down to London. London's a bit too much of a nightmare right now, so we're not going there. What are we flying today, asks Omega on Twitch. We are flying the Augusta 139, my friend. We're going to be in this aircraft for a couple of days. I really enjoy flying it. It's a great, it's, uh, it's a twin-engine aircraft. It's a great aircraft to fly. I don't really know how to operate it too well at the moment, but I'm certainly not having any issues actually flying the aircraft, so I'm looking forward to that. Hey, what's up? Airliners Live's on Twitch. Good to see you back, sir. Welcome. I hope you're having a good weekend, my friend. Oh, yeah, that reminds me, guys. Just before we get started, I want to thank all the um, guys that have joined. I've left sort of Twitch for the membership side. I've, I've taken that over to YouTube. So I want to thank the guys that have came on as sponsors on the YouTube side of things. Guys, thank you so much. So we'll get in there with the very first man in the senior captain's club he was. My main man, Bryce Ham. Thank you so much. Also, a massive thank you to MacVision3D. Um, to Fearless for joining the Concord Captain's Club, to Public Redneck, Luca Desprez, Charlie O'Haran, Chris K, Gazborn65, my main man, uh, Siri234, Neil Carty75, Gaddis Mora, I Merrick, Robert Bebe, or Robert Bebe, sorry if I, I mispronounced your name there, sir, 
Ivan Uzer, my main man, also known as uh, Yambo, Forcey Yambo, Connor McGill, Meredith, George, Steve B, Cutlass72, and Brad Chanderson. Thank you so much for becoming sponsors on the YouTube side of things, guys. It really helps um, keep me to just keep streaming. It helps helps motivate me, helps helps get me in the sky. So thank you very much for that, dudes. Hugely appreciate. Thank you. All right, so we don't have any tasking just yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set LGI for the uh, hospital that we're going to be going to. So I need that as X-ray Echo Golf 0026. So we'll get that up here. X-ray Echo Golf 0026. And that confirms as Leeds General Infirmary. We'll unselect the course. 1025 is good. Create a mission. So what I'll do is I'll have a look at where this is before we accept it and we start taking off and we start flying somewhere. Hey, Richie Ferrets joined us on um, YouTube. Welcome, brother. Welcome along. All right, I need to get my little nav map program up here, which I don't have up just yet. Oh, little nav map shortcut is not working because I moved the little nav map location yesterday, bro. God damn it. All right, hold on. Where is it? Let's have a look, guys. Little nav map. Uh, send to desktop create shortcut. Open! Greetings from Finland, from my main man, um, Jan, on uh, YouTube. Good to see you, brother. Welcome. Thank you very much. I love your country, sir. I absolutely love Finland. I'm a massive fan of it. You guys are up there with Sweden, it leading the way on how every other country should be ran. But, uh, yeah, one of my good friends, 104 Stooge, is from uh, Finland. He's a really nice guy. Right, so I will show you guys on the map where we are going. If you just bear with me one second. What's up, Mac? Good to see you, dude. Um, right, so we'll show you on the nav map where we're going. So we can see we are here at the Leeds heliport, just right next to Leeds airport. We are responding to an alpha call, um, a road traffic collision. A cyclist has been seriously injured after being hit by a heavy goods vehicle. And it looks like it's on this road here. Two laws, two laws road, just out to the west of um, Leeds. So we're going to be flying out there. It's going to be a 13.7 nautical mile flight. We'll find the incident, we'll land, we'll pick up the patient, we'll get the doctors out off board, and then we'll get the patient on board. And then it's a 17 and a half mile flight out to the Leeds General. So it should be, should be a good one, guys. It should be a good one. Let's get ready, get the aircraft started, get the mission started. Let's go save some lives. Let's go and save some lives, guys. Chat. I need that up, I need that up, I need that up. Hello from Chech. Oh, Christ, I don't know. What's that? Is that Chech there? I don't even know where that is, brother. But my man Vasek, good, uh, good uh, morning, good afternoon to you. Um, and hello, hello, Pitbull says, greetings from Oregon. Mike is moving to Sweden in two weeks. Awesome. Never ask me how I'm feeling, Mac. I will always give you the same answer. I'm living a dream, bro. Never answer. Me. Never ask me that question. All right. Um, the paramedics on scene have requested an air ambulance to get the young man to hospital as quickly as possible. The casualty is stable and is currently being sedated in preparation to fly. The trauma team are aware of the incident and are awaiting our arrival to start working on saving the patient's life. Roger that. Sounds serious, guys. Sounds like they need a trained professional. Sounds like they need a fucking professional, guys. The Czech Republic. Roger that, big dog. Terror Wills joined us on YouTube from Germany. Guten... Oh, it's not good morning, is it? It's, uh, I'll just say good nabbing. Sorry, brother. I know that that means good evening, and it's not quite night time yet, but don't worry, bro. We'll get there. Best pilot on the business on the way, says Airliners Live. I'm not 100% sure if that's officially true, bro, but it's, I'm certainly unofficially the best pilot in the game. But that's all unofficial, bro. I don't know if that's... Uh, I don't know how a fish that is just yet. All right, we're looking good. We are looking good. So what we'll do now is we'll take the... Uh, we'll take the road brake crash to... I don't know why that's moving. The road brake is off. We'll take the anti-collision lights and the strobe lights on to let the guys on the ground know. Oh shit, I forgot to put the... There's a, I've got, I downloaded a mod last night that puts the AVI tab map up on... Puts that map right there. I forgot to install it, so I'll do that later on today. Alright, we need the throttles forward to min. And we'll take the fuel pumps open first. So we want the fuel valve first and then the pump. And the engine rating, we'll go to idle in a second. I'm just going to put the fuel, in fact, you know what, I'm going to do that now. We'll go the engine rating to idle. I can hear her spooling. We'll put the f um, throttles to flight. We're looking for uh, NG to stabilize at 55. 40, 41, 42, I can hear her kicking in. 50, and there's 55, looking for her to stable down. 
she is stabling down. We can select flight on engine one. We'll open the fuel valve for uh, sorry the fuel valve for engine two. We'll turn the fuel pump on for engine two. We'll take engine two to idle. And again, same deal. We're looking for fifty-five percent. Joseph's asking, where do you get the aircraft from? It is the Rotor Sim. In fact, it's not the Rotor Sim, it's X Rotors. Hold on, I'll get you a link. Yeah, it's the X Rotors. Oh, let me do that. Copy. Alright, we'll click on that link, you can buy it. Alright, 55 we have. We'll take the flight to the engine rating to flight now. Take the generators on, one and two. Anti collision lights are on, position lights on, PO heat for pilot and co pilot are both on, steering wheel we don't need. Alright, Manchester radar is online. One one eight five seven five. With information Quebec, we have the QNH is one zero one four. Alright, we're ready to go guys. Where's the wind coming from? The wind is coming from four knots right behind us, so it's not that bad. We'll be able to take off from here, no problem. We're not going to do a Cat A departure, we're just going to do the standard takeoff. Clear this. Alright, we started the mission. We have started the mission. We have 40 seconds of pre-flight time remaining. Oh, that's the wrong link. God damn it. Hold on. I did press copy. Dude, I don't even know why I'm doing this for you, bro. Just go and Google and type in X Rotors. God damn it. Copy. We are on VATSIM, Carl, yes. Alright, let's get moving. Alright, the brake, the nose wheel brake is off. Pull and turn for brake, so the brake is off. Alright. Let's get the nose up. And we'll lift to the left. Stabilise it just here. And we're moving forward and to the right. And away we go. Woohoo! Gear up, please. Alright, we are airborne guys, we're climbing through 100 knots, well through transition now, ETL. We're moving away, I forgot to set my 102% uh, RPM switch, but never mind, I will remember that the next time. Alright, we're well on our way now, well on our way. I had a bit of a training lesson last night in this with my main man Heli Pilot, he helped me out. Just in a little private training session, and we, we couldn't get the autopilot to work properly, so... We think that maybe, maybe the latest sort of open beta thing is broke it on X-Plane. But I'll just hand fly. I don't really need the autopilot. Autopilot would be nice, but I don't really need it. Alright, I think we are flying into Manchester's airspace. 118575 is set. And we have the correct QNH. So I'm going to give him a call. I'm going to give him a little courtesy call just to let him know that I'm inbound. But first of all, let me find out where I am routing to. We're routing to the Keithley VRP. We're heading to Keefley. My stepdad's from Keefley. Nice guy. 
Manchester Radar Helimed 99 Alpha, basic service. Well, have I got the radio on? Helimed 99 yeah. Alpha, Manchester Radar, very uh, good morning, squad mode, Charlie, pass message. Might need squad mode, Charlie, Maverick, that'll help. Good afternoon to you, Sir Helimed 99 Alpha. Small Charlie, you have, we have information, Quebec. We're responding to an Alpha call just to the west of Keefley. We're just approaching to the east of Keefley now at 1,400 feet. We'd like to enter controlled airspace on track to the west of Keefley VFR. Helimed uh, 99, basic service, QNH 1023. 1023 for Helimed 99 Alpha. Sorry, I got the QFE there. Can someone do a quick conversion for me on the chat, please, guys? Someone go to Google, type in QNH conversion, and tell me what um, 1023 is, please. What is the conversion for 1023? I can only put it in, in um, like, millibars. I can't put it in, in hectopascals. Probably saying that the wrong way around. 3021, thank you so much, brother. Three zero two one. Awesome, thank you, dude. Flag advance mod and armor, it'll be fun. Sorry, Samuel, I don't take requests, bro. Am I squawking more char? I should be. Radio. 7025. Oh, Conspicuity. Alright, this is Keefley on the right hand side. Keefley. Hey, oh, you bastard. Thanks, guys. We got it. 3021. Close enough. Thanks, guys. Hey, oh, what? Hey, oh, you bastard. I'm playing golf later on today, guys. I'm, I'm so excited, bro. I'm so excited, dude. My back feels a lot better today. I'm fucking in the game, bro. I'm in the game again. Hey, what's up, Cam's Troll? Welcome back, sir. Hey, hope joke. SS Wake on uh, Twitch. Good to see you, brother. Carl, yeah, that's the current pressure of where we are, the current air pressure of where we're flying. We have 18 minutes to get there. Look at that nice low-lying cloud there, that's pretty cool, guys. Yeah, playing golf later on today, playing golf at about 4 o'clock. Really looking forward to it. I really like this helicopter skin. I might start flying as a rescue call sign rather than a helimed call sign because we're in the Coast Guard skin. Beautiful looking aircraft. Hey, thanks Cameron. Wake on uh, Twitch says, never been interested in it myself, but a buddy of mine does. Or before this corona shade, caddying for some big tour pros. I was very good at golf when I was younger, and then I sort of fell out of love with it. There's the incident down there, guys. Manchester Radar, Helimed 99 Alpha. Helimed 99 Alpha, that's message. We're just arriving on scene. Our current position right now, sir, we'll be setting down very shortly, and we'll probably begin. We'll be on the ground for about two or three minutes, and we'll call you to lift. Helimed 99, roger. Right, the wind's coming from on the nose at nine knots now, so I need to go around again. Take the gear down now, please. Helimed 9-9, there's no uh, reported uh, traffic in the vicinity to affect. 9-9 Alpha, many thanks. Oh, 
take the 102% switch once we get below 90 knots. It looks like we might be able to land on the road. Is there any traffic still coming? There is still traffic on the road, so we're not landed on the road, sadly, guys. Alright, RPM to 102%. Selected. Well, that's the RPM limiter set to 102%. So let's keep the left pedal in. We'll keep it coming all the way around, get the nose in the wind, but it looks like we're going to be landing on the right-hand side of that truck there. That looks fine. Keep the left trend coming. In fact, it looks a little bit... F the ground looks a little bit flatter on the our left-hand side, so I might change that. Let's just keep this coming down in the wind. The gear is down. Alright, there's no power lines or anything, so that looks good. The nose, the aircraft's into wind right now. I think we're actually going to land on this side. It looks a little bit steeper on the other side. Check. So we'll keep the forward trend coming all the way down. I'll get as close as I can. Not too close. Nose is any wind. Hey, Wiley's joined the Captain's Club. Thank you so much, Wiley. Fucking legend, brother. Thank you. This guy's been such a great supporter of mine over on Twitch. Hold on, let me land this bitch. I'm going to put the left gear down first here. But we're on a slope. Five, four, three, two, one. Touching down. Right, let's get the right wheel down now. And the nose wheel down. Settling down. Let's get the brakes on. Yeah, guys, my main man, Wiley. My main man, Wiley. This guy lived the dream, bro. This guy found me on YouTube. He found me on YouTube watching my Harrier videos. Then the guy actually got in the 104 squadron. He's a fucking great little pilot as well. So, uh, Wiley was just a random casual, and he seen me on YouTube, and he was like, hey, this guy's a trained professional. I think I might want to join his outfit, and then he sort of paid his dues in the server. Um, made a really good impression with everybody in the squadron and then he applied to join the squadron and he is now a cadet in the 104 squadron we're, we're very happy to have him he's a very talented young man he's going to do good things thank you so much for your support bro airliners on twitch says sea kings used to be based out of valley and look after the coast guard stuff in it until it went private that's right yeah the traffic doesn't care oh my god no they don't really give too many fucks so this is the incident that we've responded to. So I made this, guys. I legitimately made this. I didn't do all the software like coding for it. I didn't make like the the GUI and stuff like that. But all the all the mission objectives and everything. I'm, I, I typed all that. I created all these scenes. So the incident that we've responded to, the situation is a bicycle, a guy on a, a, a bicyclist, a bicyclist, is that a word? A bicyclist. I don't think that's a word, guys. <laughs> Some guy on a bike got hit by a fucking truck. Look, there's a bike, bro. I've even got the bike lying on its fucking side. A cyclist, thank you, airliners. A cyclist was hit by a truck. The attention to detail, guys, is fantastic. All right, I think he's on board now. The, we have the patient on board and he is ready to fly. He has a fracture to his head and several broken ribs. Excuse me. We have him sedated right now so he will not feel any bumps during the flight. Try to go as fast as you can to the waiting trauma team at the hospital. Roger that. All right, let's get the um, engine rating back to flight. One's coming up. Alright, she's looking good. We'll go for engine two. Alright, the wind is coming straight at us at four knots. We are slightly over to the right hand side, so um, it looks like we're going to be bringing the. Well, we bring the right wheel up. We try and bring the right wheel up first anyway, because the, uh, the rotors go left. 
It's going to be a Cat A departure, so we're going to go up and back. Manchester Radar, Helimed 99 Alpha. We are ready to lift, sir. We're rooting for the Leeds General Infirmary. Nine nine alpha, many thanks. Lifting now. All right, we're good to go. Trim speed reset. Flight idle is selected. We're good on the left. We are good on the right. It's going to be a cat A departure. One hundred two percent is selected. Let's get the nose wheel up first. Pop a little wheelie, because I'm a gangster. And we'll bring the right wheel up first now. Right wheel's up, and up we go. Stabilise and back. Power's good, torque's good. Get up, please. We're coming to the right. Alright, take the end to switch off before 90 knots and we're flying away. Alright, tit leads. We're heading tit leads. Hey, what's up, Chuck? Yoga, welcome along. Captain Pugwash says, Is that the Woodhead Pass below? I have no fucking idea, sir. We are in between Colne and Haworth. If that helps. If you're enjoying the stream, guys, get yourself on YouTube and hit that thumbs up button, hit that like button, it really helps me out. Apparently the more people that like the video, the more the more the stream gets shared on YouTube, so if you're watching on YouTube and you're enjoying the uh, stream, hit that like button. Or hit that dislike button, bro. I'm not trying to be everyone's friend. Alright, we should be able to see the high-rise buildings in Leeds if we zoom in. There they are, there, look. That's Tit Leeds. In fact, we might go to, uh, We might go up to Stoke next. Support my main man, Wiley. Hey, thanks, Nemesis. Thanks, brother. I'm really pissed off that I can't get the autopilot to work. I mean, I don't mind trimming the aircraft, but every time the wind hits it, i got to fucking re-trim. Bob Saget. Airliners on Twitch says, I'm not sure if you're aware, but you have no sub button on Twitch. I am aware of that, sir. I actually cancelled all the subs on Twitch. I'm not interested in making Twitch any more money, bro. So, if you have supported on the Twitch side, if, you have, if, if you're a subscriber on Twitch and you still want to support the channel, you can do so on YouTube now. We actually have memberships available on YouTube. So head over to YouTube and if you click the join button, you can help financially support the channel. You also get some perks and benefits as well. If you come on board at the, at the Captain's Club level, you get shout outs in the uh, streams and the videos on YouTube. If you join the uh, Senior Captain's Club, you get access to private members only tutorial streams that I do once a month where I teach people how to fly the aircraft that you see me flying on stream. And if you join the Concord Captain's Club, same prices that they were on Twitch. The Concord Captain's Club gets you a private one-on-one -on -one lesson with me for like one or two hours a month every month where I will train you one-on-one -on, -one on any aircraft that you've seen me fly. And we'll do that off stream as well so that you don't have to worry about making mistakes and looking silly and stuff like that. But the Prime subs take money from Twitch, says airliners. I know, bro, but 
I just don't really like the sort of Twitch vibe anymore. Twitch is too cancel culture. Twitch is fully simps. <laughs> Not everybody. I've met a lot of real cool people on Twitch, but most of Twitch are simps. And I'm not down with that, bro. I am not down with that. It's very quiet in Manchester. Where can I purchase a sub thing? On YouTube, Tom. On YouTube, my friend. If you type in exclamation mark YouTube into the Twitch chat, it'll give you the link for my YouTube channel. And if you head over to YouTube, you'll see a join button under the stream. And that's how you subscribe, my friend. You can also subscribe on YouTube for free. Doesn't cost you anything. If you want to support the channel, but you maybe you don't feel like giving me any money, that's fine. That's cool, bro. That's cool. <laughs> you can uh, support the stream for free by hitting that like button on uh, YouTube or subscribing to the YouTube channel. Hey, what's up, V Pilot on uh, Twitcheroo? Yorkshire Air Ambulance, cool. I'm lucky enough to work with them sometimes on the ground. That's awesome, dude. I'm actually on call as a community first responder as we speak for the Yorkshire Ambulance Service. Thankfully quiet today and hopefully it stays that way on a Sunday. Thank you so much for your service, sir. I think what you do is a great thing. Strictly speaking, we're not flying the Yorkshire Air Ambulance. Strictly speaking. We are in the Augusta 139, the Coast Guard helicopter. So really, it would be more appropriate for me to be flying as a rescue call sign rather than a helimed. But I'm a trained professional, sir, and I will do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> Some angry geek came in yesterday and tried to give me a hard time for it. He's like, uh, does London even have a 139? I'm like, bro, you know this is a computer game, right? And I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Do I use Restream? Yes, Tom, I do, yeah. Hey, Egbert's here on uh, YouTube. Good to see you, big dog. How have you been rescuing people in that R44? V Pilot on Twitch says, I'm the guy that's controlling you on Manchester radar as well. Good to see you, sir. It's very quiet on your frequency. It's a nice change, dude. London is fucked. Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 absolutely ruined. That sim in London, bro. It's just fully casuals now that have no fucking idea what they're doing. Alright, we're approaching LGI. I'm going to start slowing down now. So, that's why I'm not flying in London today. Because it's Sunday, there's going to be so many fucking kids on that don't know what they're doing. So, we're, we're, we're up here in Yorkshire instead. Hey, old blood. Alright, where's this hospital at? There, it's right there. Great balls of fire. Alright, we are slowing down. Slowly but surely. How do you slow down in a helicopter? You put the nose up and you bring the collective down. Alright, 100 knots gear down, please. Alright, see the helipad? Do I? Yeah, I see it. Do I see it? Yeah, I see it. Alright, we're going to go in over this railway line here. If you see this gauge down here, that's where it tells me where the wind's coming from and how strong it is. Strong! My voice is breaking in 36, guys. Doctor says puberty should be any day now. So we're going to get the nose any wind. With gear this time, we'll take the RPM to 102% now. We're doing 70 knots. I need to start dialing that down a bit. Alright, the nose is into wind now, so I'm going to start crabbing to the left. Copy on 
I want to come a bit more over to the left so I get a better visibility out of the right hand side of the aircraft so I'm really going to crab it right over here, I don't want to get too low. Alright, looking good, feeling good, a little bit of wind moving us around but that's okay. Alright, coming in a bit too fast now, we're still doing 50 odd knots, that's way too quick for this stage so I'm going to really bleed that down now. Right, keep the, com the aircraft coming forward. Wind's coming slightly from the right, that's okay. Keep the forward trend coming. I hate these steep approaches, I really don't like doing it. I really don't like doing it. Alright, wind's still coming from the right, not too bad. Keep the forward trend coming right to the front of the pad. Should be getting close now. Five, four, three, two. Right wheel down first. Sorry, left wheel down first. And sell. Touching down. Under 2% deselected. Take the engine rating to idle. Touching down. Hey, Woozle! Good to see you, brother. Sunday Funday, you know it, brother. Joseph on Twitch says, Mate, by the Captain's Club when I can. Thanks, man. I am working on the car. That's, a, that's The progress is slow but steady on that car. The trauma team is admitting the patient now for surgery. Well done, Captain. You have saved this young man's life today. You're goddamn right. Alright, Enmish. Alright, let's try and get one in Manchester now so we can get a little bit closer to Manchester. So, 240 to 270. Where's Manchester from here? Oh, so that's going to have to be. Alpha has a field in sight. 200. 200 to. 230. Minimum, we want it 30 miles, maximum 50. Create mission. Oh, let me see where this is. Eh. Almost. In fact, yeah, we'll just go for this one. It's near Stoke. It's actually we're going near Stoke, bro. We're going to Stoke. Wiley, you buster. All right, let me show you where we're going. So here we are up in Leeds. It's a, it's a long flight, dude. Is it 50 miles? It is 50 miles, Bob Saget. We're going all the way down to Stoke. We're going to the Whitfield Valley Local Nature Reserve. A heavy goods vehicle has hit a car head on, killing the driver and the front passenger. However, one passenger remains trapped in the rear of the vehicle. Firefighters on scene are preparing to cut her out of the vehicle in the next 10 minutes and the on-scene paramedic suspects the casualty has severe internal injuries and requires her to be airlifted to hospital as soon as possible. Alright, so we're going to be rooting via the Dewsbury VRP, then to Glossop, then to Whaley Bridge, and then to Congleton. Right, let's accept a mission. Get you guys back on board. Restream X pilot. Oh, I've got everything I need. Alright, we have an hour to get there, guys. Should be loads of time. Alright, engine to flight. When you pass Glossop Wave, you will be passing my house, says Captain Pugwash. Awesome. Wiley says that's literally a mile or two from my house. I'm coming, Wiley. Get the fucking kettle on, brother. 
How many helicopters work with these scenarios? That's Pitbull on YouTube. Every helicopter, bro. You can use any helicopter you want. Hit that goddamn like button, bro. Alright, trim has been reset. Uh, flight throttle is selected. Collective is idle. We're good on the left. We are good on the right. 102% selected. We're ready to go. Alright, the wind's coming from the uh, right hand side of four knots. Let's get the nose wheel up. And we'll get the right wheel up first. Oh, stabilize. We have a cat A departure here. So, into the wind. Behind us, we're okay, and up we go. Gear up. And we'll come to the right. Keep the nose down. Right, 102% deselected. We are flying away. It's a little bit too much torque, Maverick. I got it, I got it. Yellow band is fine, red band is not okay. Right, it's gonna be about a 50 mile flight guys, it's gonna tell it's gonna take us a little bit. A little bit of time to get there, but we're okay. We're all friends here! Does anybody want to talk about when they lost their virginity? I remember it well. I remember my first time well. It was three days ago. It was three days ago. That was a joke, guys. No one, no one type in the chat about how you lost your virginity, please. <laughs> Check the horn. Sounds good. Godspeed, sir. Godspeed. On takeoff, why do you lift the right wheel first? Because the rotor blades go left, bro. It's all to do with the torque and the engine and airframe stress. So if the rotor blades were spinning right, we would bring the left wheel off the ground first. Same when you're landing. Try to place the left wheel down first in this helicopter, because the rotor blades go left. Uh, yeah, that's right. And if the rotor blades were going right, we would try and put the right wheel down first. Oh, it's good to quadruple check that. Woozle loves a good quadruple check, bro. You love a good quad. Good old Woozle. Woozle loves a little quadruple snatch. Alright, let me have a quick look at my flight plan here. So we want to go from Glossop to Congleton. Manchester Radar, Helimed 99 Alpha. Helimed 99, Hello sir, we're just lifted from um, LGI. We are heading south westbound. We're responding to an incident at an Alpha call in Stoke-on-Trent. We'd like to enter controlled airspace on track for the Glossop VRP and then the Congleton VRP. 99 Alpha. Clear to enter the control zone, Glossop, Whaley Bridge, Congleton, not above 2,500. And the squawk again, please, for 99 Alpha. Helimed 99 Alpha, squawk 7350. 7350 you have, Helimed 99 Alpha, we have 1023. Right, so keep on track for the Glossop VRP. 
So we're heading down to Glossop just here, guys, on the map. Uh, so does Wiley. Hancock on um, Twitch says, I live near Stoke on Trent. My main man Wiley on YouTube also lives there. That's why we're going, bro. That's why we're going. Wiley just became a sponsor on the YouTube channel, so we're heading to Stoke on Trent for a, a hug and a handshake, bro. A hug and a handshake. If only DCS looked this good, says Kroner on Twitch. I hear you, brother. X-Plane sort of knocks DCS out of the water a little bit. But DCS is obviously the best place for military flying, but... If you want to fly civilian aircraft, X-Plane's where it's at, bro. Hey, what's up, V-Lynx? Yorkshire Air Ambulance, but going to Lancashire. It's a computer game, bro. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Nitro on Twitch says, is this Orpho? No, brother, this is Orbix. I have the full Orbix UK True Earth scenery. What the fuck is that? It's like a little castle thing there, guys. Look at that. Come and see the sights with 104th Maverick. Not above 2,500, but okay, we're at 1,300 at the moment. We're coming up for halfway. Right, there's Glossop there. And then from Glossop, we're going down towards Congleton. Well, we're actually going to Whaley Bridge after Glossop, but it's sort of in the same direction as uh, Congleton. Hey, Stuart! In Flysim 2020, that tower is a block. <laughs> That's a tower block. Yeah. Hey, puncher. Yeah, dude, I'm really loving the helicopters right now. Loving that rotary snatch. We're going to the Leeds General Hospital with this uh, patient. Hey Gavin, welcome. So we're flying down to Stoke and then we're taking the patient up to the LGI, the Leeds General Infirmary. Oh. My MFD's decided to just turn off and turn on there. Fucking poltergeist! Gavin, go to Google and type in X Rotors. X Rotor. It's called the AW139. And it's by a company called X Rotors. You're a smart man, bro. You'll find it. Hey, Biscuits here on YouTube. Good to see you, sir. Welcome. I'm living a dream. Terrain, terrain, don't sink. Terrain, terrain, pull up. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Massive fucking terrain. Traffic, traffic, massive fucking traffic. Unbelievably massive traffic.
A beautiful part of the country. It's been a nice little road to drive along, I'd imagine. Where are we? We're coming up for Glossop. Just past Home Firth. Not you that big dog. It's payware, Gavin. I don't fly freeware, bro. I don't do freeware. Do you know why? I did try the freeware EC135. It was fucking shit. The flight model, it's like flying an armor. It's like flying an armor, bro. It's fucking terrible. Massive fucking terrain. I hear you, women. Silence! For fuck's sake. Yeah, Hancock on Twitch says, I would love a decent 135 for Helimen stuff. So would I, bro. Most of the Hems helicopters in the UK are 135s. Well, a lot of them are, anyway. I'd love a 145. That's a dream, bro. That's a dream. A payware 145 that sounds as good as a GRX Gazelle. That's the dream. That is the dream, bro. Oh, for fuck's sake, Gavin. X rotor, bro, not X rudder. <laughs> X rotor. Just go to Google, type in. Just type in X plane AW139. And you'll see a website called X rotors. Click on that, brother. I believe in you, Gavin. I believe in you, bro. Right, that's Congleton down there, guys. Hitting up my Congleton snatch. That's not Congleton. That is uh, Glossop. Sorry, I beg your pardon. That is Glossop, guys. Thanks, Hancock. Am I flying over the snake pass? Dude, this is the second time you've asked me a question like that, Pugwash. I have no idea, bro. I'm fucking Scottish, dude. I don't live here. <laughs> I have no idea, sir. I am just flying to a VRP. Oh, sorry, and you are flying over the snake pass. Sorry, brother. <laughs> sorry, dude. I think that was for me. Uh, 99 Alpha Radar Control Service. Must have been for me. That must have been for me. <laughs> I didn't hear what he said, but I saw I put in one, two and two together. Go make five out of two and two. Two and two makes five. Is that right, guys? Oh! Chris Tricky Deacon has become a member of the Captain's Club on YouTube. Thank you so much, bro. God damn it! Thank you so much, Chris. Mr. Tricky, thank you so much, my man. Feels real good, bro. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you. Thanks, man. Manchester should be looking at... Yeah, we've seen it, uh, Pugwash. There it's there, brother. Hold on, if I can get it. There it is. Manchester. So we're very close to Mad Chester and Liverpool. Holy shit, it's a long flight. I think this is the first and the last time we're coming to Stoke from Leeds, guys. <laughs> hey, Gavin Kennedy. So this is... So this, so is this Ambo thing a mod or just flying for fun? It's a mod, bro. If you go to charityscenery.co.uk, you can get it for yourself. Maverick, have you flown in Washington State with Orbix? No, not well. I've flown over it in Concord loads of times, bro. But I've not, I've not flown at VFR in a helicopter. Right, uh, the town is called. Where are we? We are just passing over New Mills. We're heading for Whaley Bridge. Do 
And from Whaley Bridge, we're going to Congleton. And from Congleton, we're going to Stoke. Richie said, heaps of time for a coffee. I don't even drink coffee anymore, bro. Oh, I miss coffee so much, dude. I miss coffee so much, bro. Fine. I need to get the sad song on. Legitimately, guys, I haven't had a coffee for more than a month. That's the wrong one. It feels real fucking bad, I can tell you that. I exclusively drink water. Water and fruit juice. The only thing I drink. Team Blaze on YouTube says, how much does a 139 cost? Please tell me. Because you said please, young man. I will definitely help you. I think it's like 30 pounds. 29.99, I think. 29.99 euros or something like that. It's not that expensive. It's worth every penny as well. It's a great aircraft. Hey, thanks, Tricky. No, I don't want to leave the circle, Pugwash, no! <laughs> I want to stay inside the circle of trust. Team Blaze on YouTube says, um, I'm hoping to get X-Plane this week due to these streams. Really big inspiration. Thanks, man. You're very welcome, young man. I hope you have as much fun as I do. Hit that like button, you goddamn buster. I don't want to leave the circle of trust, Pugwash, god damn it. Yeah, this is definitely the first and last time we're going to stoke from Leeds, guys. <laughs> this sucks. The patient is not dead, fried noodles, you fucking buster. We have 42 minutes until the patient dies. How dare you, sir? That is slander and I will see you in court, young man. Wiley says, can you get a winch? The honest answer is, bro, I don't know. I don't think so, sadly. I don't think so, dude. I would love... I would love to do that, though. The sort of winch rescues. I would love that shit. Yeah, we definitely don't have a winch. It looks like that might be a door for it, though. No, that wouldn't be. It. If the winch door would be like, the winch door would be here. Nine Alpha, basic service one zero two three. Many thanks. All right, coming left for Congleton. Am I using Orbix? That's tricky. Yes, brother. This is... I have the full Orbix set up for the whole of the UK. So we're actually in, like, Orbix Central right now. I have the full UK set up for Orbix. It's awesome, dude. W well worth the money. Expensive, but well worth the money. Well worth it. I feel bad for all the people who were, like, holding off on getting X-Plane because of Microsoft 2020. And because 2020 is so fucking basic... I mean, all you can do is fly around fixed-wing VFR. Hey, what's up, Finn Bar? Thanks, man. All 
Alright, this is Congleton down here, guys. I played paintball down here many years ago. There's a big paintball site down here. Alright, we're heading for Stoke. We are heading for Stoke. Stokey poos. How does the scenery compare to DCS, Gas Osborne on Twitch? I'd say it's a bit better. It's a lot more detail in X Plane than you get in DCS. Hancock lives east of Congleton. Awesome. Chris got south. Nice, Chris. That's really good for flying around about in London and stuff like that. Um, anywhere on the south coast, all the scenery is awesome. There's an aircraft about to fly right over our heads. See if I can see him. Man, I'll be able to see him because of the clouds. Yeah, no, no, a hundred, no, two hundred and one hundred and fifty foot tall trees. The Eagle Dynamics think are no problem at all. I was on the test team for Eagle Dynamics, and when the first time we seen those trees, I actually said to them, I was like, guys, these trees are way too big. The trees shouldn't be that big. But the wisdom behind the Eagle Dynamics decision making, the bot, the, the people in charge of Eagle Dynamics said, no Maverick, we think it's fine. We don't think there's anything wrong with 150 foot, 200 foot high trees. Fucking amateurs. Go to the Mac loop. You got the Mac loop on the south one, says Tricky. Nice. Hey, After Sky, welcome. All right, Stoke is not far, guys. This incident's not far either. So we have 37 minutes to find that. I'm going to fly past it. We're going to go a little bit further south into Stoke. Check out Wiley's house. The incident should be right in front of us. There it's right there actually, look. I made that guys, that's all me bro. I made that. That is all me ladies and gentlemen. God damn it, Maverick, you did a fucking great job, bro. Look how good that looks. Looks like we might even get to land on that road as well. I'll take a quick lap around Stoke. Uh, x -plane does have night time, Richie, yeah. You do get some free helicopters, Team Blaze, yes. You do get some free ones. That sounds like Merrick. But... Hey, Maury, I don't really have any thoughts on 2020 yet, dude. It's a little bit too basic for me at the moment. IFR's not really there. It's basically just fixed wing VFR, and that's not really my thing, brother. I'm all about that VFR rotary snatch. Oh, I'm crashing, I'm crashing. I got it, I got it. Menix title is VFR Top North. It might be him then, bro. I recognise the voice. I love Menix. He's a great guy. He'll be streaming on YouTube, uh, Twitch, guys, if you want to go over and check Menix uh, stream out. Still flying 
Manchester Radar Helimed 99 Alpha, where finals to set down at Stoke on Trent. Helimed uh, 99 Alpha, Roger. Winds currently winds very well, 5 knots finish, 1023. 99 Alpha. Hi, Merrick. Get out, man, down. Manchester Radar, good afternoon, easy 42 Echo, uniform, which kind of yellow road. All right, where was this accident? It was somewhere over here. I see it there, it's there. All right, it looks like we're going to be landing next to that church. Good afternoon. These are Rosmond Fox arrival left to Finalis Approach at runway 05 left. Send flight level 140. Descend flight level 140 on the road and one Fox truck arrival. All right, gear down. Check we're below 90 knots, RPM selected to 102 for the limit. Let's keep the right pedal in, we'll keep coming down here. This uh, LZ looks like it's going to work out really well with the wind as well. Got a lot of left trim in here. First time I've been in VRS. First time in VRS in this helicopter. Almost didn't. Almost didn't get out, dude. Almost didn't get fucking out. Alright, the wind's coming from the left A nose, it is variable, so I can't get I can't land into the wind. I'm gonna crab in at this direction, come over the church and land in the courtyard right there. That little patch of grass right next to it. The gear is down. Alright, there's no rush to do this. Too close to that building, mate. The gear is down. Five, four, three, two, one. Touch and go. Right gear down. Nose wheel down. Nearly crashed, bro. Touching down. Alright, the patient's no longer on the stretcher, so I think the patient's in the aircraft now. I'm so happy with how this one looks, guys. This fucking this is one of my best ones, this one. Look, dude, I even have the car. Look at that, bro, look. I even have the smashed car right in front of the vehicle, bro. Hey, Fearless, good to see you, my man. Welcome, sir. Uh, 
So, hold on, let me get you guys a link. Uh, someone, can someone on uh, Twitch please type in exclamation mark rescue on, on Twitch please, in the Twitch chat. Nice one, thank you, all right. Copy. All right, guys, so, that's a link for YouTube and Twitch there that I posted, all right? So if you click on that link, right, you're gonna, that's the, I didn't make the actual, like the, this is a, fucking hell, Maverick, think about words and then say them. All right, someone else made this mod, a really very talented software developer called Christian80 on the xplane.org forums. He actually made this mod and you can click on, you can get this mod for free, guys. You, if you click on that link, it's called the Helicopter Rescue Mission. Bear with me one second. Excuse me. Um, it's called the Helicopter Rescue Missions mod, guys. And basically, it works anywhere in the world. It doesn't have to just be in the UK. But what you get with the default mod, right? You don't, you don't get a lot of missions, you get, I think you get about 10 or 11 missions or something like that. All the rescue vehicles are sort of European style vehicles or American style emergency vehicles. So, um, what I did for the charityscenery.co.uk team is I, I took that mod, I spent four weeks in my fucking life um, basically jazzing the mod right up and, and, and making a different version of it called the UK Air Ambulance mod. And you can get that, you have to, you have to pay for it. Um, you can get it from the charityscenery.co.uk website. Now, I don't make any money from it, guys, and neither does anyone on the website. You can buy this for one pound, um, or you can buy it for 10 pounds and donate more money. Basically, it's donation wear, guys. So we've created this mod to help generate money for charity. All the money raised goes to air ambulance charities in the United Kingdom. So you can help save lives on your computer and help save lives in, in real life as well. So what you get with the UK Air Ambulance mod, uh, you get, I think it's like 55 or maybe even 60 different missions I've created. I think it's probably closer to 50. Um, and we did get some great help from the community. They reskinned, shout out to my man, um, Chimera, who he actually made this ambulance. He reskinned the ambulance for us. Shout out to my man, uh, Cutlass72, who reskinned the um, the little mini car ambulance here. He even got a little Scotland plate on there for me, a little shout out um, on the Scotland plate. Um, Cutlass also reskinned the fire engine, so it's a UK fire engine, and we have a little shout out for my main man, Heli Pilot, EGLW999 on the registration plate there. Um, so yeah, we did we did get some help. I didn't do any of the artwork for the vehicles, but I created all the scenes, I created all the incidents, I placed all the vehicles and people here. It took so long because you have to do it all in text files. Um, and yeah, so it's quite frustrating. It, it took fucking ages, dude. But I'm so happy that I've done it now. It's, it's, I think the way these scenes look, they look really good. They look really professional, especially with like the police cars blocking off the roads and the cones and stuff like that. Um, I always try to, I always try to make it like as bespoke as possible. So, for example, um, there's a. Um, there's a, a mission where it's an urban accident. Uh, a young girl has been attacked by a dog, by a pit bull, and she's basically got bad facial injuries and you have to come and try and save her. And when you land at the incident, you actually see I've put in a dog that's lying sort of dead on its side. It's been shot by a police officer and there's like a police officer standing over the dog and stuff like that. I've got things where like a... Uh, uh, a cyclist was hit by a van and you see like the van and you see the, the, the bicycle lying on its side and stuff like that. So uh, I, I spent a lot of time on it, guys. I really tried to do it as good as possible. And again, I don't make any money from this. Obviously, I might get a bit of notoriety from it and a bit of respect from it, but that's not why I did it. Um, I genuinely did it to try and raise as much money as possible that we can for um, charity. So charityscenery.co.uk guys get yourself over there and check it out you can get this you can get this mod for as little as one pound or one dollar or one euro wherever you live and uh, you can help raise money for um, the air ambulance charities in real life okay we have the patient sedated and ready to fly she is banged up very badly indeed and needs to make her way make it to the waiting trauma team as fast as we can get her there we have 59 minutes to make it before she dies all right, we'll get the engine ratings back up to flight. If 
that hold on I just want to quickly check something because one thing I am struggling with this aircraft guys is uh, trim reset I can the trim works trim the trim does work So what ones do I have? You know what? Fuck it. I'll work this out later on. You guys have been patiently waiting for me to fly long enough. I'll work it out later on. I'll go for the... Right, we'll, we'll just go the same way we came out, actually. So, Congleton, Whaley Bridge, and Glossop. Alright, we're good on the left. We are good on the right hand side. There's nothing there. The flight idle, sorry, flight throttle has been selected. We have the engine rating to flight. The 102% RPM switch has been selected. We're ready to lift. Trim, air alone trim's been reset. Let's get the nose up. I'll just have a quick look behind me here for the. So I'm going that way. So we're going up and left. I'll put the uh, camera controls on, guys, so you can see how I hand fly the aircraft here. All right, let's uh, hop off the good foot and do the bad thing. What's coming up? Manchester Radar, Helimed 99 Alpha. Hello again, sir. We just lifted from Stoke on Trent. We'd like to uh, enter controlled airspace routing for the Leeds General Infirmary, uh, routing Congleton, Wally Bridge, and Glossop. Route has filed, not above 2,400 feet with the same squawk for Helimed 99 Alpha, many thanks. Chewy Jet 3 at 9 and 9, runway 05 left, clear to run, surface wind 050 degrees 6 knots. Hey monster, it's called X-Plane my friend. E E42 Echo Romeo, turn left heading 175. Massive torque spike there. Danny boy, good to see you brother. Hey Mav, on my way to Falkirk to do some segwaying near the Falkirk wheel. Sounds like a great day out Danny. Awesome brother. That's not too far from where I live dude. Hey Gil Mir, you're welcome my man. Thank you. If you're watching on Twitch, guys, you feel like being ultra generous, but you don't want to give me any money. You can do me a massive favor by heading over to YouTube, subscribing to the YouTube channel and hitting that like button. We're, subs we're streaming on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. I'm slowly leaving Twitch, though, to go to YouTube. So if you're enjoying the content on uh, Twitch, guys, if someone on Twitch can type exclamation mark YouTube in the chat, you got a link to my YouTube channel. If you can head over there, like the video and subscribe. Doesn't cost you anything. Really helps me out.
Yeah, thanks, Hancock. Three, two, zero, pass details, please. Currently, uh, I'm going to shoot up from past the XP, getting 213 knots, heading one there, very well. Is 4 to Echo Rome at central altitude 3,500 feet? Descent 3,500 feet, is your 4 to Echo Uniform? It only works on Twitch TV, you're yeah, already on YouTube, five, bro, you don't need to worry. Five, <laughs> Adrian, thanks for the sub, brother. And Calais, thanks for the sub as well, my man. The golden hour. We got more than enough time, Mr. Collective. Thanks for your concern. We actually have 55 minutes to make it there. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. How do you get EGNP on X-Plane 11, asked Hancock? I don't know. I think it maybe, maybe it comes with Orbix then. I have Orbix uh, Central, so maybe it's included in that. Fucking moron. That guy has no idea what he's doing. How does it feel to be a heli made gangster? Thanks, Q. Team Blaze says, Do you have memberships on YouTube? Yes! If you see the join button, click on the join button, that's a membership, bro. Oh shit, was that for me? Heli made 99 Alpha radar control service. Must have been for me. <laughs> on this helicopter, do you need rudder to stop it? Rot yes, you need to, you need rudder on all helicopters, William. I get that question quite a lot. People say to me, Maverick, how do you stop the helicopter from spinning? Press the fucking rudder, bro. <laughs> But wait a minute, does that mean that I have to keep pressing the rudder all the time? Yes! <laughs> that is how a helicopter works. When you have enough airspeed going down the aircraft, you don't need to press a pedal. The actual airflow keeps the aircraft trim. But when you get in slow speed, all helicopters, you have to press the pedal. I'm sure there's going to be some helicopters out there that'll have rudder trim. But all, all helicopters require, it's called power pedal. Power pedal. All helicopters require power pedal at slow, at slow air speeds. Now heading 220 degrees. 
Who is this fucking idiot? Some guy from Australia, no fucking idea what he's doing. Just thought I'd go for a little jolly. Hello from the flight deck, says Chimera. Thank you so much, brother. Good to see you, dude. Welcome. Did that um, file I send you, bro? Did that work? That link? I, I put it up on my Google Drive, so hopefully it'll work now. TB says, is this easy to install? You've got me thinking of installing X-Plane purely for the Jellycopter. Uh, yeah. I can do it, dude. If I if I can if I can get it to work, anyone can get it to work, bro. Baby five five, I like it. What a great call sign. Hey Gonzalo, welcome back. Thank you very much, my man. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Joseph, thanks for the sub on YouTube, brother. Welcome to the channel. Hey, there he is. What's up, Heli Pilot, you buster? Welcome back. We got sick of London, bro. We got sick of London. Too many noobs in London. So we're up flying in um, Leeds. We're flying the Yorkshire Air Ambulance today. So we're just passing over Glossop. That is Glossop on the left-hand side of the aircraft down there. What's with this fucking smoke vapor? Bro? Stupid. So we're heading to the Leeds General Infirmary. Hey, fly hardy. We're heading to Leeds. Chimera says the paint kit looks quite straightforward. Do you think you can send me some liveries that you you like as well, good as a reference, or the liveries that you've got? Roger that, Chimera. I will do that later on today, my friend. Thank you. William is painting a Hems livery for the Bell 407. Nice. Even though they don't, I don't worry about that. Even though they don't fly IRL. Because it's only the heli that I have from Sikorsky. Roger that, mate. Helimed 99 Alpha, basic service. Yeah, don't worry about that, bro. I've got a, I've got a gazelle in the Scottish Air Ambulance skin. I don't give a fuck. You can do whatever you want. Don't let these fucking nerds tell you. You can't fly the 407 because they don't have it in real life. Fuck those people. Do what you want, bro. Do what you want. Did you install the new LGI? Marty asked. I forgot all about it, brother. I did download the file, but I forgot to install it. Sorry, man. Thanks for giving me the heads up on it, though. 
I also forgot to put the Abbey tab map. I can get that map right there on that panel. I forgot to do that as well. Bob Saget. Bob Saget. Chimera says, do you want another Scottish livery for the 139? I think so, bro. I think so, dude. The Scottish ambulance one. I would I would love a Scottish ambulance 139. Eki Poos is flying his R66. I'm not judging you, bro. I'm not judging you. Mr. Brown on YouTube says, we ended up with these exact choppers here in Australia for the RAAF SAR contract. Still wearing the same paint scheme, nice, nice. It's a great looking aircraft as well. I love the skin. It's awesome. Beautiful. Nice one, thanks Kaimina. There's a lot of helicopters now. The fuck is that? Is that Mordor or something, bro? What the f Not far to go now, guys. Probably like 15 miles left to go. Look how good the scenery looks, guys. Does anybody know what that is? What is that, guys? The Tower of Destiny. Hancock on Twitch says, Mav, because London or Leeds isn't on when departing from Leeds, I'm guessing I don't need to contact anyone or should I contact Manchester? No, bro. You don't need to contact anyone if you're lifting from Leeds. The only reason I contacted Manchester Radar when I was lifting from Leeds because I was going to be flying into his airspace. If you're not going anywhere near Manchester, you don't need to give him a call. But if you do intend to fly to Manchester, just give him a little call to say, hey bro, we're, we're preparing to lift from Leeds. We have information. Information Sierra is current in Manchester at this time. QNH is 1022. And just let them know where you want to go. I think it's about a random observation tower though. Surely it's not just an observation tower. Gotta be some sort of telecommunications device. That is a life test tower, says Heli Pilot. A lift test tower, sorry, not a life test. A lift test tower, roger that my friend. Antec on Twitter eh, on YouTube says the tower you see is the Emily Moore Emily Moore TV mast. Roger. Five, 
Alright, right, lead should be right in front of us. There it is. Helimed 99 Alpha, request QSY to Unicom. Helimed 99 Radar Service is terminated, frequency change approved, squawk 7000, bye bye. Squawk on security, many thanks for your help today, sir. We'll see you again soon. 99 Alpha, bye bye. You're welcome, bye. The BBC transmit from there, Roger. It's not Nelson's column, says TV. Thanks for the advice, guys. Helipilot on uh, Twitch says, It is the North TV radio and mobile tower with an observation deck. It's called the Emily Moore Tower. My main man, Antec, was all over it on YouTube. But thank you, brother. Time is it? Half one. Having loads of fun at half past one. I hear you, big dog. Do you ever see planes? Asks Gonzalo on YouTube. Yes, bro, all the time. All the time, dude. Especially when we're flying in London, when we're doing a London Air Ambulance, there's just aircraft flying over us all the time. It's really important that we stick to the altitude that we're supposed to be at and, and uh, we stick to the helicopter lanes. We actually fly very, very close to um, Heathrow. Hey, Squash is here on Twitch. Are Twitch subs gone? Yes, bro. I only do subscriptions on... I only do membership subs on YouTube now. So... I'm no longer no longer accepting any financial support on Twitch, only on YouTube. Fucking sicky Twitch taking 50% of all the money I make off his of subs. So if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Twitch guys and you've previously supported the channel and you'd maybe like to continue supporting the channel, you can head over to YouTube, click on the join button and we have memberships available. So it's basically just like the Twitch subscriptions, but on YouTube they're called memberships. You're having to pay for your own emote, yeah. <laughs> Squash very kindly donated his um, God Pilot emote. Let me see if I can get it up actually, hold on. Store the chat. Pop out chat. Oh, we're crashing! <laughs> So where is it? Let me see. Can anyone get their emotes in the chat? Are we crashing? We're not crashing yet. Come on, for fuck's sake. This is a nightmare trying to do this and fly at the same time. There it is. There it is. Click it, click it, click it. And enter. Hey, a squashy's got it in. Where's mine though? Get it in. Enter. Does it come up? Hey, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Thank you so much, Squash. Very generous of you, my friend. Thank you. All right, let's start slowing down. Farmery should be just up there on the left-hand side. Whoa. All right, where is it? I'm looking for big red balls. There's some big red balls right there. Big red balls. Check. Here we go. All right, the wind's coming from the right, so I'm going to, need to go to the left first. This is not Flight Simulator 2020, maybe, no. This is X-Plane 11, brother. Alright, 100 knots. Gear down, please.
It does look better than 2020, you're right, Squash. Hey, Craig T's become a member of the Captain's Club. Thanks, Craig. Thank you so much, brother. I hugely appreciate the support, my friend. Thank you. All right, below 90 knots, RPM to 102%. Working on getting the nose any wind now. Let's start slowing it down. The gear is down. Happy with the speed, happy with the power setting. Let's bleed this airspeed off a little bit though. The wind is coming off the nose. Alright, four at four. Now I'm looking at three at three, three at 30. Three at 30. Now we're going for 200 at 20. Keep the trend coming. Forward trend, forward trend, forward trend. 20 at 200. The gear is down. Get the forward trend coming. But any ground effect now? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Touching down. And let's get the nose wheel down now. Touching down. Engine rating to idle. Hey, we got another one. We got another one, guys. Wes! <laughs> Thank you so much for your support, Wes. Welcome to the Captain's Club. God damn it, guys. Some serious support coming in today. My main man, my main man, Gasborn65 became a member. Robert B became a member. Uh, we also got Wiley became a member of the Captain's Club. Chris Tricky Deacon came on board as well. And Craig T and Wes. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much, bro. Make me feel warm and fuzzy inside. Do you know what, guys? I might not go and cry after the stream. I'm going to go in the shower after the stream. But I don't think I'm going to cry today, guys. Thank you. Ah, feels real good. Thanks, big dog. All right, let's get back to the heliport. Another one delivered. Great work. The trauma team will take care of the patient from here. You're very welcome, young man. All right, fly it. Alright, engine one is up. Let's go for two. Can we get this door open so we can hear the noises on the way back? I like the I like the noise. I like the noise. Hey, what's up, Blade? Hey, oh blood. Right, let's get the nose up. Popping that wheelie. All right, and three, two, one. Stabilize. Clear on the right.
Alright, let's have a little bit of fun. Don't kill yourself, Maverick, but let's have a little bit of fun. I'm going to put the gear down so I don't get a warning all the time. So that should be well off. Alright, we're heading for the Leeds heliport. Oh, Let's check this out. We'll land in here first. The gear is down. Joseph, don't you guys have MH60s? I'm not sure, bro. I'm not sure. Home of Tet Leeds! Is that a baseball stadium? What the fuck? That must be cricket. That's what that is. Cricket? In Yorkshire? Alright, we need to go back to the left. Sorry guys, I can't read the chat, I'm concentrating. It might be Headingley Stadium, it's cricket, I thought so guys, thanks. Baseball in Yorkshire. Hey Carl, heading home, headingly home of the Leeds Rhinos Rugby League Club and Yorkshire Cricket Club. Thanks, Carl. Hey Merrick, good to see you, brother. I recognised your voice earlier on. Good old Merrick, he's a goddamn buster. We're heading back to Leeds Heliport, bro. Is that Leeds Airport right there? That is Leeds Airport right there. Oh, I still love a cheeky low level flying. Cheeky break it!
Oh, I told Bennett, Maverick. Told Bennett, told Bennett, told Bennett. Let's see that replay, guys. Let's check out that replay snatch. And up that replay snatch. Oh, anyway, here on 104 FM. All right, you guys are not allowed to see this just yet. Hold on. Boop. I know it's I know it's hard, my guys, but fuck it. It's a secret, bro. It's a secret. Welcome back. All right, guys, just going to watch this. Uh, just obviously, it's not realistic. I wouldn't. This isn't. No, no Hems pilot's going to fly like this, guys. But it's been. Uh, we've been streaming for nearly two hours. So a little bit of fun at the end of the stream. Why not? Why not, bro? A little bit of fun at the end. A little bit of low level shenanigans never killed anyone. Wait a minute. Surely that's not true. That must be libelous, bro. That is definitely libelous. Uh, that, that's my first time I've ever sort of threw the helicopter, this helicopter around at low level. So I was quite pedestrian with it because, um, just because I've never done it before. So I didn't, I didn't want to be too violent with it. But she seemed to handle it very well. She seemed to handle it very well. Loads of power available, which is good. You just have to be in front of the aircraft. Yeah, it's really important to be ahead of the aircraft and predict what the aircraft's going to do before the aircraft does it. Anytime you hear me go, oh shit, that's because the aircraft has done something that I, I did not predict it was going to do. So low level flying and th this type of flying is all about being five or ten seconds ahead of the aircraft. You see we come in, a little crab sideways action here. She really liked that, that wasn't difficult at all, that was actually very easy to fly sideways like that. She really didn't have any problem with it at all. What did I have for breakfast? That's none of your business young man. <laughs> I'll take it.
What a great aircraft. What a fucking great aircraft, dude. So yeah, guys, two things, three things. One, make sure you check out charityscenery.co.uk. You can help raise money for the air ambulance charities in the United Kingdom by buying uh, uh, scenery and different bits and bobs on the website. Uh, number two, if you like this helicopter, it is the X Rotors Augusta Westland, the Leonardo, the Leonardo da Vinci, the AW139. It's about 30 euros. It's fucking amazing, guys. I really enjoy flying it. Well worth the money. If you're looking for a good, like, multi, like, twin-engine turbine helicopter, that's the damage, guys. That is the damage. And free, thank you very much for watching. This has been a great stream, guys. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. Shout out again to my, my new sponsors on uh, YouTube. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, to my main man, Gasborn65. He's a goddamn buster. I love him. Uh, Robert Beebe, thanks for your um, sponsorship, sir. My main man, Wiley. Uh, Chris Tricky Deacon. And uh, to Craig T and Wes, thank you guys so much for becoming sponsors on the YouTube channel. I am going to go and get ready to play golf. I tee off in about two hours, so I'm going to go out. I'm going to have a shower. I'm going to throw eggs at old ladies, and then I'm going to go fight crime. And then I'm going to go play some golf. So I will see you guys later on this evening. Probably, probably for some more X-Plane streaming. I probably won't fly Arma. Uh, later on tonight, so I'll see you guys hopefully for another X-Plane stream this evening. If I don't see you, I will catch you tomorrow or the next day. Top Gun and Volleyball, guys. Thank you again so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Do something nice for a stranger today if you can. For fuck's sake, I am not Scott Manley. We've talked about this, guys. Fly safe. <laughs>